Yeah, uh huh, uh. It's John Brody, get to know me. Uh huh, Yonkers, what up? Yonkers, what up? Listen, uh, uh. I said, I like your body, we probably could hit the lobby all night. I have my eye on you, like the Illuminati. You can find me in the spot, my homies tipping the misses. One's on their booty, I finally became a witness of uh, how you do that. Do say, got a feeling like she can't relax. Plus, she hotter than some candle wax from the back. Earthquake when she walked, bad and bougie, but she nasty when she talk. But her lingo, it considers a bankroll. So stay low if you don't got it to pay for. Hey, yo, it's time to party. If you don't get off set, like we down with Cardi. I got liquor in my hands, smoke in my lungs. VIP section with a pocket full of ones. I wonder which girl getting some. Let me get behind your bumper. Let's call that hit and run. I'ma hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that, hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that, hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that. Everyone to get to it, better fight back. I hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that, hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that, hit it from the back, from the back. Do it like that. Everyone to get to it, better fight back. He on my body, on my body. And we are back, everybody. Welcome my next artist to Just Give Me The Mic. This is another artist spotlight feature of artist named John Brody, Yo. right? Yes. Hey, wait, wait. You said you are originally from... I'm from, I'm from Harlem by Rebbe Yonkers. Okay, you're from Harlem. And now you're in Quinn. You, yeah, you yeah. I'm all, I'm all <laughs> you, over. You got but... all the boroughs almost yeah, yeah, yeah. down packed. So thank you for joining me today. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. Yes, you did a nice performance. Love the track. Appreciate it. I will see a performance from... Both of the artists that we had on the show today, mm -hmm. and um, tell me about you. Tell me about your music. What's going on? Well, with my music, man, I'm just the type of person when it comes to music. I like flow. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I like vibes. I like more of because um, uh, today's music they don't have a lot of substance. So I like to put substance and vibes into my music. You know, I want people to learn something and also have fun. You right, know, at right. the same time. So. I kind of miss that. Yeah. We went through a phase where it seems like at one point music was getting too serious or yeah. like trap where it's like if you're not shaking your booty or whatever sorry yeah, to say that but I mean it kind of went through that phase so the nice party track like the nice the last real party track maybe Tracy Lee or I can think of a couple of artists but it's not that many as of late yes, yeah. where it's like let's put I, you get that vibe like yo, I can't even sit down while yeah. this is on I gotta <laughs> jump up and party yeah. so you trying to bring that feel back yes I'm trying to bring that back cause okay. it's, it's not like you said it's not a lot of that out right now right. and and since it hasn't been, it's a, it's a space that I need to fill in. So right, I say, you need to get me, up yeah. in there. <laughs> you know, getting in the initial creases of it. You know, right, right. And actually going in and see what's up. But How long you thing. been doing music? I've been doing music since, um, I've been rapping for uh -huh. about, since about 2001, since I was real young. But I've been doing music for about four years now, me and my team, Firm Royale. Okay. It's my management. And I've been, I've been dealing with them for about four years, so uh -huh. that's how long I've been taking it serious. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so you started off by like, let me give this a try. Let yeah. me see if I like this. So was you always, you was with the group when you first started, or you started as a solo artist? No, nah, I started as a solo artist okay. and everything. And I like, I was the type of person that I assist people. Like, I always come in the studio and assist people. I, I'm, the, I'm what they call the battery. Okay. So when I come around, I'm the battery of them. So I help them with their bars or, you know, portioning out their songs and stuff like that. Because that's a whole nother skill in itself, right? Yeah, you know, it's like it's like A and R skills a little right. bit, you know, and I, I was doing that for a while, but then after after that I said, you know what, I need to sit down, buckle down and work on me. Mm -hmm. You know, work on me. So I put a project out together and so far it's been doing okay, you know, and okay. ever since then I said, let me just put this out so people can understand where I'm coming from. Right. You know? So tell us about the track you did today for us. So the track I did today called Hit It. You uh -huh. know what I'm saying? It's featuring Champagne. She's from Brooklyn. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Champagne. That's my homie. I heard her. Yeah. Um, yeah, that song right there, it was basically, you know, I wanted to put something together to make people dance, but then have a title okay. to have people want to click on it, you know? As soon as you put Hit It, people's like, what, what is he talking about? Right, is he right, talking right. about fighting? Is he talking about sex? It, he could, talking, right. it can go for anything. Your mind can go different places. Is that's true. Yeah. So why have a so why what was your reason for having a female feature instead of a male feature? Because to be honest with you, um, I like female artists. I like okay. I, I love hearing different female artists and what they can do. And with her, I've been I've been dealing with her for about like. About like five years, okay. but I always told her like I'm gonna do something and do something. And I never do it. Now I finally got the chance. I said I'm buckling down. Let's go, girl. Let's go. Let's do it. And she, she she, yeah, she, she, she's nice. She got somewhat of the today's girl style. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like city girls a little bit, right. but she's versatile. She could do everything. So once I did that, I said you know what? Jump on this track right here. and We're gonna take it far. 
So. All right, so let's talk about this project NDO, No Days Off. Yes. Let's talk about that. Now, this is currently what you're working on right yes. now, or is it done? No, it's, it's already out okay. and it's done. You know what I'm saying? It's on YouTube, it's on SoundCloud, it's it's it's, it's on the free it's sites. Everywhere. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's all everywhere. on the free sites right. so y'all can just touch it, you know what I'm saying, easily. Okay. But um, No Days Off basically. It's because when it's music stuff, you got to work hard. You got to work every day. Even when you think that you did something and you really didn't do it, you got to work hard. So I decided to name it No Days Off okay. because that's the type of artist I am. Like, I'm going to give it 110%, you know? Hey, that so. shows hard work already. Like, you yeah. know somebody grinding real hard. Yeah. You think about No Days Off, yeah. right? Yeah, tell me about it. You know, your calendar is checked off. N nothing you can have. I think it's so hard. I mean, the good thing about music today is that you can go independent. You can be your own boss, right? Yeah. But then when you go independent, that means that you're covering your marketing, mm -hmm. you're covering your promotions, you're covering your writing, you're covering the songs that you pick, your yeah. production, and you even got to get ready for shows. Like, everything falls on you yes. as an artist. So how does how do you feel about having all those different elements that you have to personally deal with as an artist? I'm going to be honest with you, to have all that have all that and, and me deal with it, mm -hmm. to be honest with you, I like it. Okay, because good. If I feel like when I was younger, I did all my time was just being everywhere. Now it's time for me to buckle down and mm -hmm. put in the hard work. So it's a challenge for me. I, I like those. When people put up challenges for me, I'm the type of person that's going to go for the three-point shot. Good, good, you know? good. So, and I think it's important as well because you have more control yeah. of your own thing. And then you're learning at the same time, yes. right? There's a, there was a long phase of artists that were strictly artists, and they were pulling people in these teams where everybody was doing things for them, yeah. and then they couldn't handle that themselves, yeah, right? Yeah. This way, you're very hands-on. Mm -hmm. You're in charge. You know what's happening, Definitely. right? You know you're involved with every process Everything. of your artistry, Everything. right? That's one, that's one thing my management... Um, shout out Hershey, you know what I'm saying? That's what she does. She okay. always tell me, she like, I want y'all to understand the ins and outs. I just don't want to be your manager right. and just be doing everything for y'all. I need y'all to know this. I need y'all to know the ins and outs of such and such. So it's right. When you're dealing with that type of stuff, mm -hmm. you're definitely hands-on with everything. So. so where can we find your music? You can find my music on Spotify. You can find it on um, Apple Music. You can find Amazon, uh, YouTube, okay. SoundCloud. John Brody is everywhere. Matt. Give us a little tip. Like, how do you... Okay, if I went to Apple... Say my music is not on Apple Music and mm -hmm. I wanted to get a, get it on there. What what do you have to do? Give us give us some one-on-one -on -one for some... Well, one-on-one, -on -one, I'll be honest with you, if you want your music on any big major platforms, you either have to take your own money, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying, look it up and... Pay those fees. Pay the fees and <laughs> stuff, you know, point blank, period. As far as that, pay the fees and get on it like that. Okay. Or you can... There's different websites that can help you go to like uh, let me see like three or different four different websites okay. that you can be on all websites and just pay one fee do that one source yeah it'd be, it'd be now a that one works fee, right know? that definitely works so, yeah it, it's, it's a program out there called um what is it called it's called one rpm Okay. On RPM. So Check it out, y'all, for, for those artists coming independent out. Independent artists, yeah, yeah. If you wanna, you wanna get your music distributed on different, you know, different sites, different big platforms. Look at one RPM. I recommend that. And this is what you use. Yeah, that's to what get I do. Yourself started. And, yep, and they're pushing me everywhere. So, so how about shows, performances? How they got anything we just, coming out? Well, I just recently had a um, showcase with my management. It was okay. they had a Fern Royale showcase, which was about two weeks ago. Okay. Um, now we're looking into um, more shows and podcasts and things like that. So right now it's in the works. Okay. So I can't give you everything right no, now, no, but no. it's in the works. Well, you got to keep us posted to yeah. what's happening. So make sure you support John Brown. And where can they follow you on social media? They can follow me on underscore J-B-R- O D I. That's uh -huh. John Brody. I, not a Y. You know what I'm saying? No Y. Right. And then also you can find me at Brody underscore Rap Beast. Okay, good. All right. So that's that's both my IGs. You can check me out. Everything is on there. You go to the bio. Got my music. Got everything. You want to know anything about John Brody? Look it up. That's dope. Now, what do you want to say to the people before we end this segment? What do you want to say to the people who's been following you and supporting? Because it's really hard to get support from some people, right? So, uh, me right? About like, it. so uh, sometimes you got to give those people a nice shout out, you yeah, know, yeah. that's helping you stay motivated and inspired to do your music, yeah. right? Yes, yes. So I want to give a big shout out, first and <laughs> foremost, 
to, to my management, you know what I'm saying, for being there, and to my, my friends and family that actually come to these events, you know what I'm saying, even when you got to do something and you're taking your time to come out for your boy. Right. I appreciate it Very because it is, it is real hard, you know, especially when you're an independent artist and you're trying to get in the game. You don't have all the back end right. from these record labels, so you really got to put the footwork in. So right. thank you to everybody. Shout out Mama Linda. Shout out Caroline. I'm going to highlight you. We out here. Why yo? <laughs> and just give me the mic TV. Man. Right, right. Thank you so much. Yeah, shout out to Linda. Yes. Right, because she definitely reached out yes. to have me come on the show. So again, y'all, this is Artist Spotlight. We are featuring positive artists doing positive things. And we'll be right back.